Hey everybody, uh, today's video is going to be our monthly YouTube paycheck. Uh, this one is going to cover May. Uh, if you have not seen any of these videos before, I got a series of videos I make just to help other YouTube fishing channels kind of understand the process of how it works and this one is kind of about the financial backside of uh, having a YouTube channel. So let's kind of go over a little quick history of my channel. Um, I started it uh, roughly about November 2015 and I just did videos for about a year, non-monetized and then in December, November, December I hit uh, 10,000 subscribers. Um, I still wasn't monetized but I think what happens is that uh, YouTube kind of shuts you off a bit if you're not monetized and you're making some decent numbers. So I went ahead and monetized, started monetizing in December. So this is just a track that I do each month. I kind of review how the month went and uh, the resulting income for that month. So we've started in December, got through, and now we're currently in May. So just kind of want to review that uh, on this video. So, uh, May, um, we had uh, $2,410, which was a banner month, so can't complain about that. Um, also, views-wise, we had uh, 1.5 million views, which is exceptional. Uh, I've been looking forward to consistently making that uh, million views per month, so that was a good kick in the butt. As you can see, I was tracking around uh, about six fifty, seven hundred thousand, roughly trending that way and then I've had a big boost there so the 1.5 million. Uh, CPM rates um, is probably one of the most important numbers because uh, it really does control your net worth is by that number there which again if you go back to my older videos I go in more detail what it means but in general what it is is how much money you make per thousand views in general, okay? This number here is just strictly taken from the cumulative dollar amount divided by thousands. So I have 1,558 blocks of 1,000. So if you divide uh, 2410 by 1,558, you get a dollar 55. So CPM means cost per mill or cost per thousand, which is basically, like I said, for every thousand views that you get on your channel, you would well. I made a dollar fifty-five. Now, in actuality, every different advertisement you see that is played has a different rate, so it's up, down, all over the place. Not really, absolutely not controlled by you. But this is just like I said, just the end result there. As you can see, Christmas time, very good. January, I, I called the kind of um, limbo month where everything is shaking down so nobody wants to invest in the ad money. Uh, we had a couple good months. Then we had the Admageddon where the uh, all the, uh, not all, but quite a few of the large advertise companies that buy the advertising left YouTube because of issues with uh, their commercial, their advertisements being played on some sites that they didn't want, like terrorist sites and stuff like that. Uh, so there's been a big shakeup on it. Supposedly, we're it's cleaning up, but as you can see, that trend is still quite a ways back. So still more work to do. Hopefully, that picks back up again. Then we have our my subscriber line, which is just really how many subscribers I gained during that month. Another banner month there. Uh, Subscribers to me, not really meaningful. If you're just talking about the financial aspects, it's all about the views, really. I mean, just because someone subscribes to you doesn't mean you they watch your videos, as well as there's people that watch your videos that aren't subscribed to you. So it's just a matter of that dollar amount is strictly by the number of views you get divided by um, or versus how much advertisers are willing to pay. And guys, but it's just a little bit of a benchmark that everybody seems to like. So there it goes there. And then beyond that, um, June, this is through week three. I'm a couple days behind on this video, but uh, usually I, I get it the third week of the month 
after and then they finalize your financials for this month um, and then so this number here is representative of the third week of June just to give kind of a forecast where I'm at since we're so far into it and we're doing trending pretty good uh, $1,818 $1.2 million so I'm happy that I'm staying above that $1 million trend hopefully that holds off a little bit drop in that CPM I was hoping things would be uh, shaking up a little bit more get more dollars in there I'm seeing a lot more ads on the, the video, so I thought maybe we would generate more, but I think what it is is they might be doing a fire sale to try to get more people back. They lost close to a billion dollars in one, one month, basically, so you got to pay it back. Now some of the vendors are coming back, but I have a feeling they're just basically giving them a cut rate prices just to get people back. So hopefully that starts increasing. Um, it makes a huge deal on that. I mean, if I was getting paid uh, two dollars on there, um, basically I'd have thirty percent more income. I'd be at about again, I'd be about twenty four hundred at that same views and everything. So definitely hurts there. And uh, subscriber rates are up there and trending. So I've still got one more week to go on that. So hopefully we'll pan out fairly well. Now the little caveat I want to kind of go over is. To see that huge jump, okay, I can contribute it to one and a half videos, so I kind of want to go over that now. Earlier I mentioned I wanted to uh, go over the one and a half videos that I contribute the big jump in the numbers in the month of May. And I could just isolate that directly to the Horseshoe Crab Catch and Cook. I think it's officially named uh, Catch and Cook uh, 450 million year old fossil or something like that. But this will also give you some background how a, well, to me it's a viral video on my channel. In the YouTube world, it's probably just eh, average. But like I said, it's, to my channel, it was a big deal. So just in that month of May, I got uh, 473,000 views, and that generated $577. So of those, I contribute just that one video, which is huge. Okay. The second part I kind of wanted to focus on was the impact, not only just a one-shot deal, but the impact that it brought to my entire channel in general. If you look here at the subs, on that one video I had 466 subscribers. And that was just basically people watching that video and then hitting the subscribe button while they're on that video. So not a lot compared to 11,089 that I got in that entire month. And that's kind of what uh, the secondary part that I want to focus on. Uh, if you check out my YouTube fishing playlist, um, I've got quite a few videos that are like tips and tricks and backgrounds on how to have a successful YouTube fishing channel. If you watch those or had watched those, one of the things that I've pushed and I constantly push on pretty much all of them is how important it is to have a solid library of good quality watchable videos okay and this is a prime example why that is so important okay now i got 473,000 people watching this video i can guarantee that not 473,000 people are subscribed to my channel or know about it what that did is it brought a whole bunch of people to that video but also to my channel and by me focusing on creating that large library of good quality watchable videos, which is upwards of close to 450 videos, and under this catch and cook playlist, I've got close to 50 videos, okay? So with this one video just really taking off, it brought those people in, and they liked the video or didn't like it, they, it brought them to my channel, and a decent amount of them said stuck or stood or stuck around stuck around stayed at my channel and took a look and if they went to my splash page my QS kayak fishing splash page the first thing that they'll see is I've got this video of course but the first playlist there is that my current videos and I do almost daily videos so they can see oh this guy's constantly posting and one of the things I always say is that YouTube is taking over TV and people are wanting something to kind of just constantly watch just like a, a TV show. So I'm posting every single day. They can rely on some new content every single day. If they like me, then they're like, wow, cool. Every day I come home, 
I could watch Steve doing a video. Right after that playlist, I've got my most popular videos. Okay, so I've got, yeah, this is on there. I've got a shark video. I've got a bait video. I've got a couple other catch and cooks. Okay, a good quality selection of my top videos. So they might have just come for this, but they see those and then that kind of gets them the hook. After that, I have a playlist of catch and cooks, which was extremely beneficial based on the fact that 473,000 viewers came and if they went to my splash page, they saw that I have a playlist with just catch and cooks, um, upwards of 50 of them. And if they like that, they're probably going to like some of the other ones and they're going to stick around. And after that, I've got a few other different uh, playlists as well. But the key thing is that I got them to the channel with this one video, but it didn't stop there. Then I had it set up. So if they start watching a, a, one of my top uh, videos or they go to the playlist with some other cook videos, what happens? They stick around. And if they like what they see, not only does that impact my subscriber number, but then they start watching and watching and watching. And when I, I've got 450 videos, if people are really into it, they've got 450 videos to watch, okay, if they're into it. And that's where this will come in. And that's where that growth is really starting to show. Okay, I got people to come to my channel, but then I, the more important part is I got them to stay on my channel. And that's huge. Like I said, it could be just a one-shot blip and then done. But I've got that one-shot blip, plus I'm getting the extra, extra benefits because I focused on building up the channel and making it ready so when I do have this, I can get the extra general benefit from it. So anyways, if you are interested in this kind of stuff, I've got two playlists. One, if you just want the financial side, it's called YouTube Paycheck. And I go into detail each month and I go into a little bit more detail on the backside financials each month on a kind of a different topic. Or if you have maybe a, your own YouTube fishing channel or thinking about starting your own, uh, there's a playlist called YouTube Fishing and check that out. And I go into a lot of details on a bunch of different things that uh, will help you to grow your channel or to understand how YouTube works and that kind of thing. So anyways, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Thank you for the support. Okay, and uh, I'll see you next video. Bye.